Hey, 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 hey. Welcome. Hope you're having a good day. I just wanted to say a couple of things that were on my mind as a way of just getting them out there and possibly inviting you into the conversation. I never, ever shy away from a conversation, but I am not shying away from what I would consider not a conversation. That is aggressive. I know what you're really trying to say, and here's my accusation. Listen, let me talk first to the believers. If you follow Christian principles, just ignore that stuff. I used the illustration yesterday, uh, bobby pins. Okay, have four daughters and a wife of 27 years. And I have sucked up more bobby pins in the vacuum cleaner than I want to count. I've become, because of that, a master repair person for the vacuum head its motors, its belts, its rollers. Um, And it's funny because throughout these 27 years married, I have seen thousands and thousands and thousands of those bobby pins in crazy places. The edge of the refrigerator, the kitchen counter, the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink, on the dashboard in the car, in the floorboard, outside in the yard, on the grass, (laughs) and you name it. But I've never lost sleep over losing one. Now think about it for a second. Why? Because they're abundant. They're everywhere. They're important. They cost very little. And there seems to always be one nearby. And so if I had a handful of them, and on my way to the car, I dropped one or two, and I didn't notice it, and they just dissolved into the jungle of my yard... Um, I would not fret. I would not go out there with a comb or rake and try to find them. Just, oh well, I I wish I hadn't dropped that. Friends, that's the attitude that we need to have when it comes to people who decide having never spoken to us, having no relationship with us, having no authority over us, come into our feeds, into our homes, into our lives, into our churches, into our jobs, and into our families— and begin to impose their ideologies, viewpoints, theologies, worldviews, politics, or whatever it may be on us, and in turn, when we don't see, understand, or even care about that particular point of view as far as an option for ourselves, they become aggressive. Um, Aggressive people are children that, that throw tantrums. Let me say again to the Christian, you are under no obligation to talk to people like this. Let them be a bobby pin. Let them just move into the jungles of infinity. It's okay. Don't feel guilty about that. And then also let me speak to the idea that there's anything in the Bible that gives any human being permission to do that. It's not. There's nothing in the Christian scripture, nothing in the New Testament that that would instruct a, a Christian, a a person who is in the faith to do anything but be quiet, mind their own business, work with their hands, love their neighbors, serve their enemies, give the clothes off their back to the naked guy that tried to hurt them. You know, and this is, I'm, that's an absurdity, but you know what I mean. Um, nowhere does it give the authority for any person, including me, to come after someone else or to expose things. This exposure drug dog mentality in the world is just silly. It's childish. It's baloney. (laughs) And I'm free of it. And it doesn't bother me what people think about that. And it shouldn't bother you either. You know, the best part of life is we get to choose who we spend it with for the most part. We get to choose with whom we are in covenant. And we get to choose to decide what we listen to and what impacts us. We're in a world of consumption, and we need to stop consuming everything. Now, everything that I've just said, if you're not a religious person, if you're not a Christian, it applies as well. Garbage in, garbage out. Garbage around, garbage smells. Let's be careful what we absorb. And in like manner, by the way, that's a a programming term that I learned in like 1983, um, gigo. Uh, I'm not talking about people. But in turn, as a metaphor, 
let's also make sure that we are not allowing people in our lives that are not necessary and we're not obligated to who are causing us to suffer because of their wicked and mean and rude selves. Years ago, someone said, I whined. (laughs) I'm not whining, beloved. I am standing firm on helping you be set free from the things that you're not obligated to. Be free. Engage in good conversation. Disagree, but do it in a loving manner. And when people don't agree with you, if you tried to talk to them in order that you would change their mind, (laughs) you're running down the wrong tree to start with, barking up the wrong tree. You're really falling out of it. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.